I welcome you all. Today, we are going to learn the implementation part of midpoint circle generation algorithm. Okay. In the previous lecture, we have seen the theoretical part of circle generation algorithm. Okay, the mathematical way how the circle we can draw with the help of midpoint circle generation algorithm. Okay, now in today's session, our focus is on the implementation part of midpoint circle drawing algorithm. Okay, so how it can be implemented using C program and how we can execute it. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. So I'm sharing my screen now. Okay, and I open the Turbo C editor. Okay, and to I open the program directly okay, instead of typing down the program so to save the time. Okay, I have done directly written the program as per our expected algorithm. Okay, and this is the program you can be, uh, see. Okay, now the name of program is Program to Implement Circle Drawing Algorithm. Okay, I think rather the board is uh, midpoint method. So the method used is midpoint. So it is called as midpoint circle drawing algorithm. Okay, so this is there. We are going to include stdio.h. We are going to include conio.h. Okay, so stdio.h is required whenever you use the printf and scanf function. Conio.h is used whenever you use get ch clear screen function. Okay, we required the math.h. It is the mathematical function. Okay, we are having in program different mathematical function. Then we can use math.h. Okay, and obviously, as we are doing the program for the computer graphics, okay, so we need to include the graphics.h header file. Okay, so this is graphics.h having graphical function. Okay, now in this program, okay, I think I directly start the explanation from the main. Okay, there is no need for me to okay, explain the theoretical part. Okay, because we just know in the previous lecture we have seen the midpoint circle generation algorithm. Okay, and directly we go for implementation of this. Okay, so as per our the requirement, okay, we require the graphics driver GD is equal to detect, GM is equal to detect graphics and graphics mode, detect indicate for auto detection of the graphics driver and graphics mode. Okay, now to draw the circle, what is required for us, we need to declare the variable integer xc and yc. These are the center of the circle. Okay, xc and yc, these are considered as the center of the circle. We require the R as a radius of the circle, okay, and X and Y, it is our starting point, okay, so we can calculate the uh, different pixels for the points on the path of the circle, okay, and this is the P is the variable, okay, that we just now have seen in the algorithm, it is read for the uh, determining, okay, which is the closest pixel, okay, so that's why we are having this value as a P, okay, we give, give init graph, we initialize the graphic, Okay, as usual, and then here we are taking the input from the user. Take input from user. Which input we have need to take from the user is user center of the circle. Okay, center of circle, and obviously we have to take the okay, radius of the circle. So I'm here having the first printer. Enter the center points of the circle. We call it as a XC and YC, center of the circle. Can F percentage D percentage M percent XC, M percent YC. Okay, then we are having the printf enter the radius of the circle. Okay, we are taking here the radius of the circle. Can F percentage comma M percent R. Okay, using this, so this is the input that we are going to take from the user. Okay, center of the circle and the radius of the circle. Okay. After that, okay, we should initialize our first point. Which is our first point? Our first point is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to r. Okay, so we are considering that the x is always incremented and it reaches up to the r or y. x is 0 and y value is equal to r. And obviously the y will be decremented in that case. Okay, and c is nothing but our, that we call it as the uh, determined okay, to okay, get the prediction which should be our next pixel. 
So we are considering that the p value in unit rise to 1 minus r. Okay. So p is equal to 1 minus r. Okay. Now after that, and now we are knowing which is our first point, what is the initial point, x equal to 0 and y is equal to r. Okay. But now, as whatever the algorithm that we are doing, what we have to do is we have to plot all the points. Okay. So what we need to do is plot the points in all eight octants. Okay, because we are calculating only for one octant and we are going to reflect it for the all remaining eight octants, all remaining seven octants rather. Okay, now so to plot the points in all eight octants, okay, uh, I think instead of writing down all this statement here, we can call one function, we can write one function plot point by passing the x, t, y, t center of the circle and x, comma, y. Okay, by passing these four parameters, okay. So instead of writing all these over, we are just calling a simple function. Okay, so let us see what is this plot point function does. Okay, that is what I have written over here. Above mean function, we are having the okay, plot point function. Okay, everyone knows what this function does. Okay, it plot the pixel in eight octants. Okay, in all eight octants, it is going to plot that particular pixel. Okay. But what we are passing, we are passing x t, y t, x and y. Okay. So in that case, what should be my first pixel to activate is my first pixel to activate is x t plus x because center we have to add in the x and y value. So x t plus x and y t plus y is my first pixel. And this 15 indicate it is white color. Okay. So this 15 is nothing but okay, which I can write it as a white capital. Or I can write 15. Okay, 15 is the num numerical value. Okay, integer value I can. 15 indicate it is white. The both are same. Okay, this is white is correct. And I can instead of white, I can write capital white. I can write 15. Okay, what is my next point? It should be minus x plus y. Next point is plus x minus y. Then minus x minus y. Okay, so here I will get this four point. Okay, so what will happen in the next four point is the value of x and y will be replaced, okay, or it will be interchanged, okay. So next pixel, I will get put pixel x c plus x. Okay, here I am having y. You can find it as sorry x and y. But now I am having this for next four pixel. I am having x c plus y plus x minus y plus x plus y minus x minus y minus x. Okay, so in this way I will get all these eight points. Okay, which I am going to plot. Okay, so this plot points is a function which is going to plot, which is going to plot the pixels in all eight options. Okay, so coming back to the main function. So here we are going to plot all these points. Okay, my while loop starts. Okay, so I am having this while loop. Okay, so inside this while loop, okay, y x value is initially zero, and y value is r. So I am taking the while loop x is less than y. Okay, so I, I still x is not reduced to the y, we are going to continue this loop. Okay, now as we are knowing in this case, x is moving from 0 to y, so x is always incremented. Okay, so I call it as increment. Okay, write it here. Okay. Always w a y s, always increment x. X plus L. And now on this point P, if the value of P is less than zero, okay, that is what we have learned in the algorithm. If the value of P is less than zero, P is equal to P plus 2 into X plus 1. Okay, so that is what the formula in L part is if P is less than zero, okay, in that case we have to decrement the value of Y. Okay, so decrement Y. Okay. And after decorating y, again the p is calculated, p is equal to p plus 2 into x minus y plus 1. So these things are there in our algorithm. Okay, as per the algorithm, we are implementing it into the C program. Okay, else is over. Again, now here, in this case, I have now got the new or the next value of x and y. Okay, x is incremented always, and I have got whether to increment the y or not, it depends upon the p. If p is less than 0, y is not decremented. Else, if p is greater than or equal to zero, y is in decremented by one, and new value is calculated. So what I need to do is, after this, I need to plot all these points. Okay, I need to plot all again this point, 
again it will be call that function so this plot point is going to call the function okay and it is going to activate all this pixel okay on my eight octet okay and again it will come back to the while loop okay it is coming back to the while loop and this process is continued okay so this while loop is continued until x is less than what is the condition is until x is less than y okay now when x is less than or it is x is equal to y the while loop ends because we have reached from x value 0 to y or 0 to r okay so this while loop end get ch to see the output and then close the graph okay so this is my program okay, to implement the midpoint circle drawing algorithm okay now let us check okay, the output of the program f2 to save f9 to compile okay, no warning no error i go for control f9 okay so now on my screen you can find it is asking me to enter the value of center of the circle x t and y t okay suppose i assume my center of circle is 200 and 200 okay 200 x 200 y this is my center of the circle if is going to ask me the radius of the circle suppose i enter it as 100 can i enter yes you can find the circle is displayed on the screen okay so center of the circle is 200 200 and the radius is 100 okay so i will again cross check this okay again execute the program okay yes now again execute it control f9 okay and now all of you are knowing in servo c editor for computer graphics my screen is having the resolution 640 by 480 so 640 pixels in x direction 480 pixels in y direction okay suppose i want to uh, give the center of the circle as my center of my screen okay so center of the screen is 640 minus 2 uh, divided by 2 means it i will get uh, 640 means 320 as x and 480 divided by 2 means 240 so 320 is the center of my screen okay so i give this as the center of circle and the radius okay the radius of the circle suppose i give it as 200 yes you can find that okay this is the center of the circle and if the circle is drawn appropriately Again, I say if we clear, go for clear device before plotting it, it will take clear the input that we have taken. Okay, but just to see the analysis result, okay, I have not done clear device before plotting the circle. Okay, but it has shown the correct circle on the screen. Now, my, one more thing is suppose I want to uh, put the dot at the center of the circle, or I want to activate one dot at the center of the circle. Okay, so what I need to do is, okay. Yes, what we have to do is we just add one more put pixel function before I'm plotting this. So here, if before I'm plotting or calling the main function, I use here put pixel. Hitting me, I use this pixel. I want to plot one pixel at the center of the circle, x t comma y t, and the color is white. Okay, so it is 15. Okay, so here this is plot. We'll add center of circle just to indicate that which is my center okay i have just added this one more put pixel function okay again f2 to save yes f9 control f9 okay center of the circle i give suppose this is 320 and 240 okay and suppose i give the center of the uh, and radius is only 100 okay i give it as 150 okay 150 is the radius yes you can find that the circle is drawn and at the center of the circle you can find a small dot or the pixel is there okay, which indicates this is the center of the circle and this is my circle is drawn with the help of the c program okay now uh, one more thing as an additional thing i just want to explain to you is see while i am plotting the uh, circle okay, i have plotted it into the eight octant the circle is generated into the different eight octant okay so if you want to change the color of different octant okay so it is possible for you to change the color okay i'm just doing it as an example okay now suppose in this particular case okay if i want my okay, the first octant color you can give this directly suppose it is red i want my first octant color is red okay my second octant color i is i want yellow you can type or you, if you are knowing the color code you can write the color code or you can type it in capital letter okay the third octant color 
suppose i want it is blue okay and the fourth octant color or octant okay and one of the octant color i want it is red yellow blue i take it as green suppose okay but i will not change for this next four octant this four octant okay i just want the color to be white but this four octant i want to put the color as different color red yellow blue green whatever you want to give okay and then save the program f2 to save yes f9 control f9 okay what is the center of the circle suppose i give 320 and 240 with center of my circle so my screen rather and i give suppose 150 yes you can find on the output i am having the eight octant of the circle out of eight four octants are of different color okay i think it is clearly visible to you okay where we are having one octant is blue one is green another is yellow another is red so where remaining four octant is are of white color okay because we have not changed the color we have keep the color as 15 okay you can find this in the program okay so i am changing the color of this four octant Okay, but the next four octant, I'm keeping this as a 15 means it is white. Okay, so if you want, you can change the color. Okay, so this clearly indicate that okay, the program or the algorithm we have run is very correct, and it is going to show me or display the circle on my screen with the help of this program. Okay, so this is the program to implement the midpoint circle drawing algorithm. Okay, and it is correctly displayed the appropriate value. Okay, and as per our algorithm, it is implementation. Okay, so I just close the Turbo C editor. I hope okay, you all have learned, okay, or seen the implementation of the circle drawing algorithm, or rather, it is the name is midpoint circle drawing algorithm, okay, where we are going to generate or calculate the pixel or the point only in one octant, okay, only in one octant, and we get the replication in all seven octant. so we can say and also we have seen how it can be displayed on the monitor screen with the help of the c program okay so that is what our purpose of our today's lecture okay, is to see the implementation of the midpoint circle generation algorithm with the help of the c program okay i hope so all of you have okay, uh, seen this implementation and enjoyed it okay and i also want all of you can also do the program on your own using the turbo c editor and see the output of the program okay so with this i say thank you thank you one and all